Hey, hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Chelsea and I am six months postpartum um, with my first baby girl, Ray. And if you are interested to see how I'm doing at this point in my motherhood slash post-pregnancy journey, go ahead and keep watching. If you aren't already, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you are tuned in to when I upload again. I don't really have an upload schedule right now. It's been a little bit busy, but I'm trying to get some videos uploaded because I love YouTube. I love doing this. This is my hobby. So and I would love for you guys to be a part of this and I really appreciate um, your feedback and your comments and all that kind of stuff. So please subscribe if you haven't already. So for those of you who are new here, I delivered my daughter Ray via C-section six months ago, just over six months ago. And I wasn't planning on having a C-section, but if you wanna watch my labor and delivery vlog, I'll link it down below and you can see kind of how the events unfolded. Basically, it was just a very difficult labor and um, it lasted a long time. I wasn't progressing, so I ended up having a C-section. So I mainly wanna just focus on how I'm feeling now at this point. Um, I have done updates well, I did a postpartum update at six weeks. So if you're interested to see kind of what my recovery was for those first six weeks, you can go ahead and watch that as well. But where I'm at at six months. So I want to break this down into different sections because that's how my mind works. I'm kind of an organizational freak. And I like to think of things like, I guess, compartmentalize things. So I'm going to update you guys on how I'm doing based off of like, different areas of health. So we're gonna start with my mental <laughs> health. So I could go into more detail on this. Um, maybe I'll make a video about this one day, but I did struggle with anxiety. I think I've struggled with it my whole life, um, but it really manifested while I was going through my infertility struggles. So for those of you who are new here, we did IVF to get pregnant with Ray. So infertility was something we did struggle with for four or five years. It was hard. It caused me a lot of anxiety, which then kind of led to depression. So I was worried when I was pregnant with Ray um, that I could possibly have postpartum depression or anxiety. So I did, you know, let my doctor know about this. I let my family know about this and kind of what the signs were and how to um, help if it was needed. Thankfully, I can say that I have not suffered from postpartum depression or postpartum anxiety as far as at this point at six months. Um, at around three months postpartum, I did feel a lot more anxiety start to creep in and it was just more like I was just feeling overwhelmed and I wanted to get a lot done and I couldn't get a lot done and my if my plans didn't go the way I wanted them to, then I was starting to get very anxious about just little things. So I ended up getting back on to some medication that I had gotten off of while I was pregnant. And this was a conversation my doctor and I had had the whole pregnancy and postpartum, um, just at, if I would go back on that or not. So I ended up going back on it at around three months. Um, I feel like from the time Ray was born until she was three months old, I was euphoric almost. Like I was just so, so happy and didn't need any sort of help um, as far as like medication or anything, I didn't feel any sort of like anxiety or depression or anything like that. So I was good, but then really like at, right at three months, I just started to feel that anxiety creeping in and it kind of started to scare me and I didn't want it to get worse. And so I, I talked with my doctor and we decided that, um, it would be good for me to get on a lower dose of medication. That way I was a step ahead and, um, really proactive about making sure that my mental state was a-okay. So since then, I have felt totally good. Um, no worries there. It's just been very normal and I feel a lot more relaxed. Definitely not as anxious. I have my moments like anyone, but it's nothing like what I thought it could be if had I not, you know, um, been proactive about that. So I really encourage you guys, if you're feeling any sort of anxiety or depression if you're postpartum, please just talk to your doctor about it. Like, just talk about it. Even if you, like, you don't necessarily wanna get on medication or whatever, just talk to your doctor about it, your spouse about it, 
your family about it so they are aware of what you're going through because I think that is so important. Your mental health is so important. Okay, so physically, I am feeling almost completely back to my normal self as far as normal, like pre-pregnancy, even almost pre-IVF. So when I did IVF, I did like slow down a little bit with my workouts and all that kind of stuff. And I've always been really super into health and fitness. And um, when I started doing IVF, I just slowed down with my workouts, but also like didn't eat as healthy as I usually did. Um, I was craving like a lot of fast food and stuff when I went through IVF. And then when I got pregnant, I was definitely craving fast food, <clears throat> McDonald's. But I will say now I am definitely much more like my normal self. I crave healthy things. I enjoy eating healthy like I did before I was pregnant, before I started IVF. I have even kind of been dabbling into the low carb diet. If you follow me on Instagram, you have kind of been with me on that journey. Um, but yeah, it's been really good. I did gain 50, 52 pounds about <laughs> when I was pregnant. And, um, I think at this point I have lost 47 pounds almost. So I am almost back down to, um, pre-pregnancy weight, but I would like to get back down to my pre IVF weight. Cause that's when I know I was feeling you know, like my best, but even if I don't get to that way, I'm okay with it. I just want to get to like where I'm running as much as I did before and working out as much as I did before IVF, which I'm pretty much there. Um, I do go every Monday through Thursday basically, um, and work out at the gym for about an 45 minutes to an hour at 5 AM. So I pump and then I, so I wake up at 5 a.m., I pump, and then I go to the gym around 5.30, then come home, shower, and get ready, hopefully before Ray wakes up at 7. Um, and then I hang out with her, and then I go to work. So I try to do that every morning so that I get the workout out of the way and, you know, get my day going because it just sets me up not only physically in better shape and better health, but mentally I just feel better. And then I'll practice yoga a few times a week as well, and that that's awesome. So... I love yoga. I love running. And lately I've been loving lifting weights. So, um, usually Monday through Thursday, I lift weights and then, um, Wednesday, Saturdays I will run and then Fridays and maybe Wednesdays I would practice yoga. So it's a really good schedule for me right now. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really feeling stronger and just really good about where I'm at fitness wise. So if you guys want a video on what my fitness routine is and how I'm um, eating and that kind of stuff, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. Maybe that will help me understand that you guys want that kind of video and I can definitely put together something for you. Maybe just like a week of um, my fitness routine and like sort of some meal ideas or things that I'm eating. Let me know if you guys want that because that would be a fun video to make and I would be happy to make it for you guys. So yeah, physically I am feeling great and I am just planning on keeping that up and not letting the holidays slow me down. I did definitely relax and indulge over Thanksgiving, which was awesome. And I have no guilt about that because it was great and I totally deserved it. We all do, right? So emotionally, I am doing very well. Um, I feel like emotional health and mental health is kind of the same, but um, emotionally, I feel like I'm doing really well. I definitely have my moody moments. I'm sure Eric can testify to that. But for the most part, I am emotionally doing very well. I'm just, there are moments still where I just look at Ray and I'm just overcome with like so much happiness <laughs> because she's such an amazing baby and she's just so, oh, I just love her so much. She is the best. So Eric and I always look at her and we're just like, you're the best baby. You're so amazing. We love you so much. Like it's amazing. It's so, so, so wonderful. I never knew that being a mom could be like so fulfilling and amazing. So I do feel a little bit stressed sometimes, to be honest. Um, I just want to do so much. I want to be amazing at my job because I do work full time and I love my job and I love what I contribute there. And I want to be so, so good at my job and I want to be an amazing mom and I want to be, you know, like this awesome YouTuber and like just share and connect with you guys. But it's really kind of tricky to balance or to like blend all of those together. Um, 
but I'm doing my best to just focus on like the priorities, which are, you know, my family, uh, Ray, of course, is part of that and my health and my wellness, my job. So those kind of things come first. And then, you know, I have YouTube and my friends on social and, um, and then I have my friends in real life. Like I love the group of friends that I have and my family, we have big families and we spend a lot of time, um, like our social lives are pretty hefty. We spend a lot of time with our family and friends and I am so grateful that we live so close to so many of them. Um, so those take up my time. And then after that, it's like, I'm spending time on YouTube and social media and stuff connecting with you guys. And I love that part of it too, but it definitely is like a rework of priorities when you have a kid. Um, especially because when you have a kid too, you want to spend even more time with your family because they want to be with your kids. So anyway, it's been sort of interesting the past uh, few months as I've tried to blend this new life together, not new life, but you know what I mean? Like this new routine of having a kid and how that all works with my day-to-day -day life. So it's been good, but I do miss uploading to YouTube more and connecting with you guys more, but we'll see what the future holds. Hopefully I can do more videos and I love to hear what you guys want to see from me and my channel. Do you like vlogs? Do you like these sit down videos more? Let me know. I'm all ears. Um, I am planning on doing a breastfeeding like series eventually as soon as I can get that filmed, but I am still breastfeeding. Um, I am loving it way more than I thought. I just never realized I could love breastfeeding so much, but it's just such a great experience. Um, Thankfully, it's been pretty, not like easy for me. It was pretty tricky in the beginning, but um, it's been very rewarding. And um, yeah, it's just going great. And I'm feeling so grateful to be able to breastfeed her. Um, and just that my body, like all the things my body is capable of. I am so grateful that I uh, have recovered well after a C-section and I'm feeling mostly normal again. I mean... I really can't ask for like more right now. I just feel really grateful for where we're at and where I'm at after giving birth. Um, it's like seriously the craziest thing sometimes to think that I gave birth because I literally never thought that would happen to me. So for those of you who are still struggling with infertility, going through IVF right now, like I am always thinking about you. I get messages very often on Instagram, especially of people who are going through IVF and I really appreciate you guys taking the time to reach out to me and ask me for, you know, my thoughts or about my experience or anything like that. So feel free to message me over there on Instagram and we can chat over there. Um, but yeah, let's just know that I am thinking about you and I truly, truly hope that everyone gets to experience, um, the joy of being a mom, um, in whatever way it happens because, it's not always through pregnancy and that's totally fine <laughs> because pregnancy is hard too. And although, I mean, I, I understand what it feels like to just want to be pregnant. The joy I felt of having a kid compared to the joy of like becoming pregnant. It's like, it's, you, you can't even compare it. Like it was, I was so thrilled to be pregnant because I knew I was going to have a baby, but or I mean, you know, that's the goal. <laughs> that's what it is going to come next. But, um, but being a mom, it's just the best. And having that little baby to take care of and somebody who just like loves you so much and you have your little family, it's just been so awesome. So we are doing great over here postpartum. We definitely, you know, aren't perfect. We don't have, it's not all sunshine and rainbows over here, but it has been even better than I imagined. So Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all so very much and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.